Jamie Alexander here with Broadcast Beat. We're here at Broadcast Asia 2017 in Singapore, and I'm here at the Atomos booth with Mark. How are you, Mark? Very well, thank you. Very well. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for spending time with us. I know you guys got something awesome to share with us that you're showcasing today. Yes, we're introducing the Sumo 19. So we're here at, uh, at Broadcast Asia, and um, we've We've just launched this actually at NAB this year, um, just prior to NAB, and it's been a massive hit for us for independent filmmakers and uh, on on set production. But now we see that there's there's also a great demand for this tool in the broadcast world as well. So fitting out OB trucks as well as in studio applications, we can see a, a, a huge need for that in the marketplace. So I'll, I'll get stuck into uh, what we've got here. So basically we have uh, a 19 inch uh, production monitor and we're at 1200 nits in brightness. And we're also capable of HDR and at the same time we're recording. So we're recording directly to solid state drives in Apple's ProRes and also Avid's DNX profile. So um, this talks directly to, to uh, broadcasters with the, with the Avid workflow. And um, uh, we have a, a range of different input selections as well. So we're looking at HDMI 2.0 in and out, and we also have Quadlink SDI. So Quadlink SDI is quite important for uh, um, 4K cameras like the Sony F55 and also the Panasonic Vericam 35. But also uh, with the Quadlink capability, we're, a we're able to record four streams of HD simultaneously. So we're taking four streams of HD, we can multi-view, and we're also uh, adding in a switching capability. So you're gonna be able to switch live. And I didn't mention it's touchscreen, right? So oh, it's, nice. Yeah, so it's actually touchscreen, so you're going to be able to touch um, the channel that you want to cue and then record. Um, that will be quite a, a non-destructive way of doing it because what we're doing, the ISO streams, uh, we're going to accommodate that with uh, EDL or an XML file. So this makes uh, your switching quite non-destructive. At the same time, you'll also be able to take a program out and record that. So very exciting stuff for us. Um, uh, a lot of hype around the product and I think this this really is the first in its class. There hasn't been a production monitor that you have been able to actually record on. Use it in field, then you can take it to the studio and use it for a reference. So it's a um, very exciting move for us and I think this really is um, a big step forward for us into the broadcast world as well as film production. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. You explained that so eloquently. And so we're really excited. Thank you for evolving the monitor to touchscreen and everything and um, everything that you described. So we're excited for you guys. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you. Thanks.